So the hair that I'm going to be using in today's video is from Julia Hair. I'm just showing you guys what the packaging looks like. This is how I receive the hair. And I'm going to show you guys what the hair looks like outside of the packaging as well. Now I am going to be working with a closure and three bundles. And this is their Brazilian Body Wave Texture. I have a 20 inch closure and a 22, 24, and a 26 inch hair bundles. So I'm just showing you guys, this is a 4x4 lace closure. This is what the hairline looks like. This is the color of the lace and all that good stuff. Just showing you guys up close of what it is looking like. This is a close-up of the closure. The lace did get torn right here because of the way that they sent it packaged. They had it like, you know, the little clear thing that comes on like a clothes tag. Well, that's how they had it attached to the bag. So. Um, I should have cut it off, but I'm not even going to use that part of the lace, so I just want to show you guys what the closure is looking like here. The hairline is pretty full, so I will be going in and plucking this hairline. This is the hair and all three of the bundles here, so just stay tuned and keep on watching. So hopefully you guys can see this good. I know my camera is kind of like at a weird angle, but the only products that I'm gonna be using for today, of course, is you're gonna need some black hair dye because that is the whole purpose of this video, but I like to use the Adore uh, Jet Black Hair Co. This is my go-to um, hair dye. I've never really tried anything else. This is all that I know. And then um, if you're using a closure or a front, so I have got this tip from um, Ivy here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure everyone knows who she is. Um, but since I am going to be using a closure and dyeing this as well, you're going to need some uh, Got To Be Glued Free Spray. And then we're just going to put this on the lace so that it does not turn tint the uh, closure so that it's black because I don't want that. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that this comes out good like hers came out good. My understanding this little trick with using the Got To Be Glued Freezing Spray should help if you already bleached your knots so that your knots don't um, turn black or your lace doesn't turn black. So I'm going to go in with the Got To Be Glued Freezing Spray now and spray my entire closure very generously. I'm going to then go over it with my blow dryer. You don't have to use a blow dryer like she said. You could let it air dry, but just for the sake of speeding up the process i'm going to go ahead and blow dry it until it is completely dry and then i'm going to go in a second time with a second layer and do the exact same thing like i mentioned i did get this method from ivy here on youtube i will um i'm pretty sure everyone knows who she is ivy league styles here on youtube she is like the bomb so shout out to her because i'm trying this tip for the first time So now we're going to get ready to go ahead and get this process started. So I'm going to be taking one bottle of the hair dye and I'm just going to pour that whole entire bottle into the tub of water. Now this is hot water. You can use tap water from your sink or you can boil the water. I prefer to boil mine. So once you put that in and stir that mixture up, you're going to go ahead and proceed to dip the hair. Now I'm just showing you guys how quick and simple and easy this method is. Once you do like your first dip, you could see like the hair instantly turn jet black. So I've tried this previously before, but I didn't record it the first time I tried it because I didn't know if it was going to come out good or not, but I have tried this method previously before and I can tell you now that this will be my go-to method when dyeing my hair jet black so I'm just giving you kind of a side by side so that you can see how well the hair takes to color now I haven't seen a lot of people going from the natural color of the virgin hair to jet black I've seen like from blonde to other colors and whatnot and here is the proof that it works when you try to go from dark to darker so as you guys can see, I did go ahead and add in the second bottle of dye. Now it's just best to add it in like the more you put your hair or the more hair that you add into the mixture just for the sake of you distributing the product evenly and so that all of it gets jet black as possible. So here's my closure on the left and one of the bundles on the right and you can see the difference already is coming out flawless. Like when I tell you guys how easy this is. Okay, so now that it has been about 10 minutes, uh, I'm now going to go ahead and just rinse this hair out. As you guys can see, my sink is white and no worries at all. This did not stain my sink, so that is another 
plus with using this method you don't have to worry about the dye staining or anything so now we're finished I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed to rinse the remaining dye out of this hair I'm going to give it a good condition and then that will be the finished product so hopefully this was easy for you guys to follow all right you guys stay tuned for my next video i will be having a separate video come out following this one showing you guys how i got the closure to look laid like this